The question that I have is, could you do an example on the use of the graphical method of solving 2D seepage problems? Here I have a concrete dam with uh, two cutoff walls, one near the upstream side, another near the downstream side. And I'm interested in calculating Q and the uplift pressure distribution along the base of the dam. And the picture has a approximate flow net. And this flow net happens to consist of a fractional region. So sometimes this happens. You start sketching from here, and you start sketching from here. And wherever you meet, you may not meet at a whole region. So in this particular case, this region happens to be 0.4 of the corresponding whole region. So I have a total of 10.4 drops. Here I have calculated a value for Q. There are three flow channels. Uh, number of equipotential drops is 10.4. The total head difference between the upstream and downstream size is 12 meters. And now applying the formula for Q, I end up with a value of 69.23 times 10 to the minus 6 meter cube per second for Q. Now let's go ahead and calculate the uplift uh, pressure distribution at the base of the dam. I have selected uh, six points to do this calculation. Remember the procedure for calculating the pore pressure at any given point in the soil domain when there is water flow, right? So we go ahead and calculate the total head, uh, elevation head, subtract one from the other to calculate the pressure head, multiply that by the density of water to get the pore water pressure, right? When you are repeating calculations, it's better done in a table. Little delta H is calculated to be 1.154, so that's the drop between two adjacent equipotential lines. The total head on this line over here, taking this as the datum, is pressure head is 12, elevation head is 2, and therefore the total head there works out to be 14 meters. So remember the way it goes, right? So 14 over here, and here it's going to be 14 minus 1 delta H. Here it's going to be 14 minus 2 delta H, 14 minus 3 delta H, and this happens to be somewhere in the middle so I'm going to approximate that as three and a half, and therefore the total head at point A is 14 minus three and a half times delta H, which works out to be 9.95. So you repeat this process to calculate the total head at all of these points. Since we have taken the datum right at the base, uh, the elevation head for all of these points is zero, and therefore the pressure head works out to be exactly equal to the total head. Now you multiply the pressure head by the density of water to get the pore pressure. So for example, for point A, uh, 9.81 times 9.95 gives you 97.6 as the pore pressure. So you repeat that for all of these points. So these are the values. Now you can plot the pressure distribution diagram by plotting these values at these points. And then the area under the pressure distribution diagram is the resultant uplift force.